these days, a lot of people are using Visual Studio Code and one of the issues that they have is basically when they are shifting from the work laptop to home or vice versa, then the experience is not the same because you cannot synchronize or you cannot sync basically the settings and uh, uh, or extensions between two Visual Studio codes. So in this video, I'm going to teach you how to just uh, have exactly the same experience between two Visual Studio codes in two different laptops or PC, um, basically with a few steps. It doesn't require any specific uh, account, for example, in a GitHub or in uh, Dropbox. You, all you need to do is very small and easy steps. So let's just dive in. So imagine that you have a Visual Studio code in your machine and you want to back up every settings and um, extensions you have already got in your system. So first thing you need to do is go to the terminal so, and then type code list of extensions dash dash list dash extensions and then you're going to get the first level and then you're going to echo them. So by typing this command and press enter you are going to get a list of all the extension which you have already installed. So if I just scroll a little bit up, there we go. This is all the extensions I have. And all you need to do is just to copy these lines and save them somewhere. And whenever you go to the new system, you just paste them in, extent, uh, in a terminal and it's going to install all of them. But that's not all. You also need to go to the file again, preferences, and then go to settings. And from here, you need to look for the settings for JSON. So I'll just minimize this bit. You also need to copy everything you have here and, pa and just paste them somewhere and then keep them saved. And in a new computer, you're going to in a new like Visual Studio Code, you're going to just paste the same settings and then by doing these two steps, first uh, going to get a list of all the extensions you have and then say uh, get all the settings you have and then use these two in a new Visual Studio Code and you will have exactly the same things in both computer. But the only issue in this case is if you change something here, it's not gonna change there, you need to follow the same things, which again, it is, it's fine because pretty much you're not gonna change the Visual Studio Code settings every day or every time you just play with it. So you just copy these two, save them somewhere. In my example, I've just uh, saved everything in my uh, GitHub, which I'm gonna share the links with everyone. So I have my uh, the command which you're going to get a list of all the packages and then all the packages I have installed and then the settings I have. So feel free to just copy these ones or if you have your own settings, just follow this these commands and then copy and paste it to your new Visual Studio code and you will have exactly the same Visual Studio settings and extensions in two computers or even 10 or whatever uh, machines you have. So now let's think that we have basically back up the settings and all the extensions we have already installed in a previous system and now we, we really need to just install them in a new system. So what we're gonna do first thing is we go to where we just um, saved our settings and in this example I just saved it in, uh, in my GitHub gist. So what I'm gonna do, I quickly go and copy all of them copy them. So in a Visual Studio Code, I'll go to the File menu if you're in Windows and if you're in Mac, you can go to the, I think, Tools and then Preferences and then Settings, for example, from here, uh, we should be able to open the Settings and then we have an empty JSON file. So delete everything and then paste all of them here. Basically, some of these things you don't need, but some of them you need. And as you can see, it just it depends some of the settings you see here. 
uh, related to a specific extension I installed before. But if I just press Ctrl S and save it, now you see everything start changing. One of the things you, you will notice that I'm using fiber code and I really recommend if you're using like if you use a lot of coding it's, it's a very good one and a lot of people are using it in the community and it's very simple if you want to just go and download it just uh, look for the fiber code and then from here uh, you can go and download it and once you downloaded it uh, you can easily just go and install F1. It's not really difficult, so let's just quickly, all you need to do extract it. And then once you extract it, uh, depends on operating system. For example, in Windows, I use QTF, and I think in Linux and Mac, you can do the same thing. So double click on them, and then you can press install, and it will install. Simple as that. And once you see it is installed, this icon will be gray or disabled. So, so far so good. Now we have all the settings. The next thing we need to do is to install uh, all the extensions. Now that you have all the settings, uh, you can go and install all other uh, extensions. So again, in this example, I just save all of them, all the packages and extensions in my GitHub gist. So, I just copy all of them, whatever I need, and then go to the terminal and paste them and it's going to install all of them one by one. all done so now if we close the visual studio code and probably we don't need this one anymore uh, i'm gonna quit and i'll open the visual studio code one more time so you see because of our settings i'll go to the settings one more time So I'll go to our settings, we're using fiber code. And because I chose to use git bash instead of, instead of uh, PowerShell in uh, Windows, now I'm just using the uh, git bash. So you can use, well, if you're using Mac or if you're using Linux, you don't need, but if in Windows, if you wanna just replace your command line, uh, with a uh, git bash you can just do this trick and this is it for now so you have everything you had previously in other system you just bring them brought everything here thank you so much for watching this video